Here's another recipe, a blast from the past. You always like it when I do these recipes. These are the uh, old-fashioned lunch lady recipes. And uh, I've been wanting to do this one for a while, and I haven't done it, but we're going to do it today because it's not going to take very long. And these are the lunch lady peanut butter bars. And we used to do these years ago because uh, at one point we used to get a lot of peanut butter through commodity for the schools. And uh, we would make peanut butter bars, we'd make peanut butter cookies. And there was, I think it was every Tuesday, we would make, for breakfast, we would make peanut butter toast. And the kids loved it. We would have cinnamon toast, peanut butter toast, and I think cheese toast. And they could have a choice. And, and this is not healthy, I know, but the kids ate it up. And uh, it was peanut butter with Cairo syrup and melted butter stirred up. And we would smear it on top of toast, and the, even the teachers loved it. So, anyways, let's get started. This is going to be fast, and it's going to be easy, and you're going to love it. Now, there's two different ways. Some of the schools would make it with a, a chocolate topping, uh, frosting. But we always made it with a peanut butter glaze like and that was our favorite so let's get started now all you're going to need is uh, I think it's a cup and a half of peanut butter let me get my it's a cup and a half of peanut butter and y'all going to croak when I tell you how much butter's in this it's a whole cup of melted butter but there's no oil in this so it's a cup of melted butter and your peanut butter and you just kind of want to warm it up till it gets to this consistency. And then you just want to set it to the side. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our sugars. And we got a cup and a half of white sugar. And we got a half a cup of brown sugar. And you want to put your salt in here with your sugars. We got a teaspoon and a half of salt. Now your butter, uh, we always used unsalted butter. That's all we could use in the school system. I don't never have unsalted butter here at the house. So it's just whatever you've got. So we got our one and a half cups of white sugar, half a cup of brown sugar, and one and a half teaspoons of salt. And I'm just going to kind of stir this up a little bit. Now, I know some of y'all are probably going to ask me about my bowl here. And after we get done with the recipe, I'm going to show y'all this bowl because I got it at a flea market for uh, $5. <coughs> Excuse me. And it come from, it was made in uh, Portugal. And I'll show you the bottom of the bowl when I get done. It was, a, it was one of them that I was so glad that I found before somebody else did it. So just kind of mix it up and get your clumps out. You know, I think that we could have served the kids peanut butter and jelly sandwiches every other day and they would have loved it. Kids, most kids just love Now we had, after uh, there were so many kids that developed uh, food allergies and that we got to where we had several that were allergic to peanut butter. So we had to quit making, <laughs> we had to quit making peanut butter cookies to put on the, uh, lunch the lunch trays and it was all because there were some kids that were bad enough if they even touched something that had the the, the peanut butter near it they would you know so we had to start being careful about that stuff okay now this is just going to make a, a 9 by 13 pan this is the small recipe of it and I just greased my pan so we got our sugars and everything. Let's see. We're going to stir in one big heaping tablespoon of vanilla. We need four eggs. And I'm going to break my eggs. And I'm going to stir them after each egg. Just get them mixed up good. You know, I'm not a cook in the lunchroom anymore, but I, I do, I'm the clerk. Um, I cooked many years in the lunch system. 
and I enjoyed it very much. Okay, we're going to we're going to do four eggs. So this is my second egg. And the reason you want to do this is you just want to get it mixed up really good and cream your your eggs in with your sugars. And this is only going to take two cups of all-purpose flour. Like I said, this comes together pretty fast. It has rained hard all morning, so I thought, well, this will be a good morning to do some baking because I can't get out in the garden and do anything, so... Okay, we've got our four eggs mixed in there and the vanilla. So now it's time for two cups of sifted all-purpose flour. Now this should be a, a good spreadable batter. When we made this, we'd make it in, of course, the big four mixer. And I don't even know where that recipe went. I looked for it back when uh, school was still going on, and I couldn't find it. It could be in one of the the old the the big recipe books that we used to have. But what we always went by is. Uh, we have recipe cards and recipe boxes, just like you would have at home, and that's what our recipes are in. But I couldn't find it. So this is just a mini version of the Lunchroom Lady peanut butter bars. And I think your kids, if they love peanut butter, they're really going to like this. And even adults. Like I said, the teachers love them. So I got that mixed up pretty good. So now, now all we got to do is put our melted butter and peanut butter in there with it. Now I know my peanut butter looks really loose, but that's because of the melted butter. And because I use organic peanut butter. And when you use buy organic peanut butter it has a lot of oil on top and even after you mix it up it's still got a lot of oil in it. My favorite peanut butter I can tell you is Jeff peanut butter but it is known to peanuts are sprayed with pesticides unless they're organically grown so you need to look for non-GMO peanut butter. Uh, the shell of a, of a peanut, um, it can absorb practically any, you know, just any kind of pesticide or anything. Mr. Brown, what's the word I'm looking for? The shell of a peanut is like, it just can absorb really well. The, it's almost like a cork. Yeah. So anyways, don't get me wrong, I love Jiffy peanut butter. So my oven's ready and it's uh, been preheating 350. So our batter's done that quick. Now you don't have to flour your sheet pan. Just uh, I just we use peanut oil anymore and uh, that's what I grease my pan with. Just whatever you got. Now we're just going to pour this out on the... Now I used to when we'd make this in big old mixer, I'd have to take a, a pitcher. We had a plastic pitchers and dip it out and pour it on our sheet pans. The only way you could get it out. So I'm just going to spread this out 
And if you want to, you don't have to put this on sheet pan. You can put this in just a 9 by 13 cake pan. Just as long as it's a true 9 by 13. This is going to rise, but it's not going to rise as thick as a cake because it doesn't have any uh, bacon powder or anything like that. And it's going to be more like a bar. Shake it around a little bit, and it's about that easy to get together. So we're going to stick it in the oven, and it'll take anywhere from 30 to 35 minutes. It just depends on your oven. Then we'll get it out. First, we'll make our icing. That way, when we get it out, it'll still be warm when we put the icing on it. Our peanut butter glaze now for the top of our peanut butter bars. But I want to show y'all what kind of peanut butter I've got. I got this, I think it's been about three months ago, and I ordered it off of Amazon. And I'm not, I'm going to put it down below in my description box. It'll be in my Amazon store. I'm not sure if they still have it because they've been running out of a lot of stuff. But this is non-GMO, vegan, gluten-free, uh, USA grown. And this is the name of it. It's Teddy All Natural Smooth Peanut Butter. And I'm pretty sure they have crunchy too if you like crunchy peanut butter. But I just wanted to show that to you. Uh, I think mine come in a, a three pack. I'm pretty sure. But I don't remember the price on it because it's been a while. But all we're going to do is we're going to take our fourth of a cup of peanut butter. And I've got my little pan here. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is put my peanut butter in here. And a little bit, just a little bit, like a teaspoon of vanilla. Now, your milk, you want to start out. Let's start out with just a good tablespoon. We're going to come over here to the heat. I'm just going to soften this up a little bit. So when I get this softened up, I'm going to get me a different spoon. We'll come back and we'll put our powdered sugar in. So my peanut butter is starting to melt. It's going to take just a couple of minutes. And I put another tablespoon of milk in here, so that was pretty close to two tablespoons. And once we put our powdered sugar in here, I'm sure we're going to have to add more, a little bit more milk. You just never know how much it's going to take. That's why I put just a little bit at a time in. So all I'm wanting to do is melt my peanut butter and it's melted. Melted in with that milk. So now we're going to go here. And now this ain't going to be a big thick frosting. It's going to be like a, a glaze. So I added just a little bit. I think what I've got in here is about three tablespoons of milk. I added just a little more. I'm going to add some more of my powdered sugar. And this is a whole cup of powdered sugar. So you got a fourth a cup of peanut butter. And a cup of powdered sugar. And anywhere from two two and a half to three tablespoons of milk. And I put a teaspoon of vanilla. Now the recipe never called for vanilla, but I always put it in there. And I think that's a pretty good consistency. I don't want it any thinner than this. And it's going to set up just a little bit. So when our cake get, our bars get done, I'll take them out. And I'll let them cool just a little bit, but not all the way. And then we'll put our glaze on. All this bow that I told you I got at the flea market for five dollars. Can you see the um, little design inside? It's a little cactus and a sombrero, and it's all the way around the side too. But it's heavy. It's uh, 
pottery. And what got me was the bottom says made in Portugal and then it has this number 23 on it. So I thought I had a good find there. It's a good bow. I'll pr it probably lasts me forever. So it's just another good flea market find. Bars have come out of the oven and they're still a little bit warm to touch, but they're not hot. So 30 minutes and they were done. Now <clears throat> it's not a cake, it's a bar, so it's a little bit denser, uh, thicker, chewier bar. So we're going to take our peanut butter glaze and it's just going to be a thin glaze. And anybody that likes peanut butter fudge is going to like this glaze. I mean, I'm already excited. Now, you, if you'd have done put this glaze on here <clears throat> when it was really hot, it would have melted it probably just to a really thin, thin glaze. Now, if you wanted chocolate on this instead, you can make like a, a chocolate ganache or something like that, or just a real thin frosting to put on top of it. That would be good too. But I just wanted to make what we always made. And because we had so much peanut butter on hand there at school, I remember making all them peanut butter cookies. <clears throat> And they were always so good. The kids and the teachers and everybody enjoyed them. You can tell this is going to be a thin. And if you wanted it a little bit thicker, you could double the recipe for this glaze. But that's a lot of peanut butter. Just try to get it spread as evenly as you can. And if your cakes, I mean your bars are just a little bit warmer, of course it's going to spread easier too. Me and Mr. Brown sit down make some lunch, letting it cool off. The sun's finally shining a little bit. I've got a new creek running down through the middle of my garden now. We've had <laughs> so much hard rain. But I know when I say it all the time, I'll be begging for rain before you know it. So we've about got it spread out. <clears throat> Now, Ms. me and Mr. Brown will cut us a piece, and uh, we're going to taste it for you. I'm just going to go around the side, and I'm just going to kind of loosen it up. I wanted, and I done <laughs> start cutting on it, and I shouldn't have. I wanted to show y'all how <clears throat> we used to cut our bars and cakes and stuff. But you have to realize it was in a pan four times this size. And you would go to the middle of your pan and you would cut your first cut. And it just depended on how many pieces you wanted to get out of that pan because you had so many kids you had to fade. So you cut your middle one and cut it down two more on each side. Do you want to cut? We're not going to do two big pieces because we know this is going to be rich. So you cut your other metal piece and it went very straight. I'm not real good at straight lines. So that gave us what, 16? Okay. Let's get a small one. And you could even go, if you want a smaller one, you could go right down the middle of these again. And 
You see how easy that come out of the pan? That's a, a really, it's got a good crumb to it. Like I said, it's a bar, not a cake. And then you got your glaze. So let's taste it. It's tender. Just like I remember. That scared me. <laughs> Do you do that? I didn't do it. That's really good. And if you're a peanut butter lover, you're going to love this. Your kids are going to love it too. Mr. Brown, I'm going to let you taste it because I know you like peanut butter fudge and you like peanut butter cookies. So this is a combination of both. Good. Really, really good. It is. Rich, but good. So if you're a lover of peanut butter and you love the vintage old fashioned lunchroom lady recipes, y'all need to try this. Your kids are gonna like it too. But it was easy to throw together. You could feed a lot of people with this. Like I said, you can cut it even smaller pieces. So I got 16, you could, you could even cut them in half. So y'all have to try this recipe, and I hope y'all liked it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. And uh, y'all have a, a good rest of the week, and we'll probably see y'all this weekend. So God bless everybody.